start the queue up directly. Fuck. Uh, start the, um... Start the stream up directly. Since I don't have... A ton of time before Arcade Pit. And also, of course, I'm queued for a guild test. For all the people that are doing guild tests. No one is doing guild hess. No one has ever done guild hess. Guild hess existed to teach basic game mechanics and basic uh, boss mechanics before, you know, the Hall of the Novice existed. And even then, no one fucking used them. I am genuinely curious to see if I will get into a guild hest. Oh, I'm roll waiting list number one for guild hests. <laughs> for DPS. Go tip it, go you love her on the motorcycle. Oh, it's great. The motorcycle's fantastic. Oh my god, let's go. It's time for a guild hest. <laughs> okay. Oh, hell yeah. Bachman. When threatened, he'll summon reinforcements. Stay alert. So this is supposed to teach you, broadly, um... To... Kill the ads. But it takes so long for the ads to show up that you just kill Bachman before it actually does anything. <laughs> and that's it! <laughs> that's the whole thing. Teaches you to burn the boss and ignore ads. And that was my first time completing it. 1700 EXP. I gotta come for that. <laughs> Why is something squealing inside the box? Alizé stuffed Alphino in the box. That makes sense. Tip it on her motorcycle. Where will she go? I don't have anything else to do, so I'm just dodging the flowers. Congrats on defeating the queue again. Thank you. I'm going to do roulettes during Arcade Pit to make sure that I don't have to log in again. Because I would not get into FF14 again tonight. At all. You got logged out during dinner? Y yeah. Got 2002 while trying to be a human being and lost your spot. See, that's why I haven't been a human. Also, I'm back to 500 gigs available on my, my fucking, uh, my drive. Hi, I'll hope you're having a fine day. Hey, Big Mag, hope you're doing well. If you're wondering why we were tasked with bringing the boxes to a party to begin, so was I. Turns out this is a base of operations. And that should be everything. Alizé, that shit was huge. How the fuck? 
You carried all of that at once? Are you trying to injure yourself? Oh, hush. They're lighter than they look, and not everyone has your delicate arms. I suppose we should let someone know that we finished. Theopaldin is in the courtyard. We can report to him. Why don't you come along? You should get credit for your assistance, at least considering where we are. We might even learn something interesting. Oh, since there is a teleporter right here, I'm going to briefly go back to a city-state and reapply my glamour. Hi, I'm Hope You're Well. Hey, Sandra Cactus. Yeah, I'm doing well. I want to get a bit of FF14 in before Pit. It's probably not going to be too high of viewership right now because uh, Liz is doing her big 12-hour subathon. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, Alliance... DPS in need. An extra 7,000 gil is hard to resist. I should buy a book before I go. Like a better book. Uh... What the heck does Arcanus... Oh, that's what it looks like. There we go. Wanted to see where I was and say hi while you're at work? Yeah, we're in the, um... I see. We're in the, uh, revisit of Labyrinth- Rap Labyrinthos, holy shit. Back at it again at the Labyrinth of the Ancients, that's right. Still got a better book now. Labyrinth is the labyrinth of the moderns. Yeah, exactly. Can't wait to see how Bone Dragon goes. Well, I'd imagine it'll go pretty well. Probably. Probably. Ooh, they're using their speedy abilities to get ahead. I'm jealous. Give me some mobility that isn't tied to summoning Ifrit. Once a minute. So, uh, bang, 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 pulled my bunkle trigger. Um, finally catching PA. Oh shit, no, let me go. I can't be caught for long. I just swift casted regular ruin.
There we go. I've been streaming way past your awake hours. That's fair. That is, at the moment, the only time I'm able to stream. Um, because I'm working literally every other day of the week, including Saturday, for the time being. So that's been... fun. Why? Why is Primal Data Center like this? Just keep the dragon in the middle of the room. There's no fucking reason to put the platinals here. None. Stop it. Get some help. You hope they update Titanagi so it moves up further before blowing up so it hits more enemies? Ah, well, it means is you gotta target the enemies at the back of the pack, and I can manage that at the very least. I'll just be something you learn to do. You don't know where this new technique came from. I don't know, but it's been here since 2.x. I don't know why. It's the old version from when you had to do it. Yeah, but like, even in the old version, you could just drag the skeletons out to this side and they still wouldn't be that much of a problem. Like, that's how every other server does it. Why the fuck are we like this? We broke brain motherfuckers. There's no lie detected here. Who pulled? Someone pulled. Step on the plates. The, the plate. Thank you. Oh good, we got an extra two people on our plate. No, back on the panel. Dumbass, step on the panel. Broke brain ass motherfuckers, get over here. At least there's a shitload of us, so we're gonna kill this thing instantly. It does not matter what fucking you're- The panel! On the panel! The panel! <laughs> Step on the button! You have one fucking job!
Oh, thank God, I'm first. My group's not going to be able to kill him, though. Apparently our damage is not spicy enough. Can't believe the dancers aren't partnering anybody. <laughs> I know, I know. Before ch anyone in chat, I know. It's a joke. Does ACT show time spent standing on the panel? No. Close enough. Y'all want to see something gross? In this house, I respect the labyrinth at the ancient stairs. Have one tenth of a Fantasia. <laughs> Thank you, Fruit Salad Kung Fu. I appreciate it. Your data center just exploded. Why th does this keep happening? This is the first weekend after the official release. Every person who plays this game is getting in here right now. To play it. Right now. I wonder if I'll actually have to do mechanics on the King Behemoth fight. <laughs> Just kidding. Things aren't that dire.
Oh, do the all, all the energy towers reset after Meteor? And that's why you don't have to touch them? Or... Oh no. The Iron Giant killed the party. <laughs> Suckers. You all stood in place and you got got. You never noticed those towers before? Are you not aware of the actual mechanic of this fight? So those bombs that are appearing tried to destroy those towers? And those towers charge over time. And if they get to full, that damage over time you're taking constantly through the fight gets way worse. But there used to be two tanks per alliance, so it was one tank's job from every alliance to walk over to one of those towers and just click it. Repeatedly. Yeah, you think fighting Fragro is bad now? Imagine when we had six tanks fighting for the boss. It got to be a bit much. I mean, no one ever sees Glaziolabolus' mechanics, so why would they do them? Oh man, Loda's back, baby. Let's fucking go. War never changes. How do we wipe? People didn't stand on the buttons. <laughs> yup, tank HP isn't high enough to survive it anymore. Oh, I gotta summon Carbuncle again, that's right. I always forget to resummon Carbuncle. Oh, he will absolutely keep casting it, but now you, the tanks can't even survive it once.
That's their fault for not bring bringing vitality potions. True. If everyone stayed in, we probably could have killed that, but I'm not going to try to run in on a boss on an unfamiliar class when I'm not sure I can deal 3% damage on my own and when we've already wiped once. Yeah, Phlegathon Greed is how wipes happen. A hundred percent. That's a pretty cool looking weapon. Oh, apparently the Epic of Zal Alexander is pretty much impossible now. You need to overshield like crazy to get through T, is what I've been told. Where am I going again? Phlegathon's Greed is a good special move name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Strong agree. Alphano just like, I think I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. I also cannot remember where. He just looks like a generic elf to me. Oh, he knew them as kids. That's cute. You knew our parents? What, were, what did they used to be like? We can help you with paperwork in exchange for stories our parents would never willingly divulge. You know, as you do. No, man, you gotta understand this is entirely in character for them. Oh, shit, one sec. What? What? Eh, what? Uh, huh? Mike, come on. Mike. All right, and we're back. Now, where did he say she was gonna be? I wasn't paying attention because I had something distracting me. Oh, the Aether Burner is just suffering a parts, uh, or a need for parts, we'll say.
quick and efficient. It's almost like you've done a bunch of quests like this before. No, 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 you will not ter tell me embarrassing stories of- Oh, thank you for the follow, Scrim Scrumble. Um... <laughs> do not tell embarrassing stories about me. I'm here for embarrassing stories about my parents. You were on the boat. Your family was on the boat. Yeah, we were on a boat, man. I don't think about it much, so? We didn't found the nation. Renounce the ways of war and pursue enlightenment through knowledge and reason has ever been our family's creed. Until your grandfather's time. Perhaps it was his expertise, his knowledge of ancient prophecy and the fall of civilizations that led him to conclude that to eschew conflict at every turn was to consign mankind to his doom. There will ever be conflict and calamity will follow. Thus, to ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. Oh, <laughs> so what's our father's embarrassing secret? Oh, he loves the shit out of you. Like, you don't get it. He loves you both so much. He's a dumbass and a stubborn old goat sometimes, but he really loves you. Hey, we'll mention we spoke to you next time we see our folks. Oh, God. Okay, please don't get me in trouble, though. Gah. Sure, I'm not doing anything already. This really does feel like Trolley uh, Zone Act 2. Oh yeah, I've been there. I've been to that uh, reactor. We saved the sun just a little bit ago. I forgot to update my glamour. The one reason that I teleported out of here in the first place and I just fucking forgot. <sighs> Trolley zone. Yeah, so in Shadowbringers, there was a revisit to Amarang in which you spent an extraordinary amount of time getting a trolley working. And it was, in my opinion, probably the weakest part of Shadowbringers. Not only because, um... Like, the actual story was, it was okay. But... <laughs> okay, you're gonna hear about me. Trolley guy was great. But the guy who was too depressed to make the Talos because his wife died searching for the magic rock to make the Talos, right? After all of that, 
we not only find the rock, cause like, if we found the rock, that makes sense. I accept that we find the rock, and that in finding the rock, we prove that his wife's sacrifice was not in vain, and that we are using, you know, her, uh... Her initial effort to find it. No, we find the exact same fucking rock that she has carved her dying message in. To her husband. To never give up hope and keep trying to do stuff. A message from the past carved in this one rock in the middle of the entire mine. And it happens to be the wife guy's dead wife. In a game that constantly has things that are, like, improbable, that one just felt like the writer grabbing a rock and hitting you with it. A rock that has a wife guy's wife's dying wish on it. Exactly. Aw. Time for Terra Flare. Oh, Inferno Weapon Coffers now drop from here. That's cool. I like that. Oh, people left before I could cast my LB. I'm sad now. Yeah, like, suspension of disbelief. Fine. This particular suspension of disbelief... A bit too much. And it wasn't even, like, her name. Or, like, something else. It was, like... A fucking letter carved into stone. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna actually take the false nails off of the glamour plate for now. And the rock was like, yeah, the size of a baseball. We found a baseball in a mountain and it had an entire letter written on it. And I'm the kind of freak that didn't even mind the Thancred duty. So, like, when I say that was my one of my only retrospective problems with Shadowbringers, I do mean it. Like, that was one of the only things where I was just like, this is a bit much. You know, why don't I actually put the one with the nails on... One, and I just... Where's the Alagon code? Oh, because it's not dyed correctly. 
Shoot. Gloom purple dye. Do I have any on me? I don't remember what pants I used for this one. Oh, that was exactly what I used. Okay. I need to go get a piece of gloom purple dye. And then it's all to get around a single door. And then on the other side of the door anyway is Ranjit. And that was just like, okay, motherfucker. Because the last time we saw Ranjit before that, it is literally the Empire's new groove. Kronk, how did we beat them here? Because he fell in a fucking hole. And Ranjit just like, well, it got me. It doesn't make any sense. The trolley is the cheese feast of Shadowbringers. Yeah, and I feel like this is the cheese feast of Endwalker. There we go. The outfit is correct. This one will be the glasses plate. Plate 12 for glasses. Plate 1 for Tibbet's outfit. How's End walking so far? It's going pretty good, honestly. I'm liking it. I just want you all to know, like on a personal level, uh, while we're on Arcade Pit, just know that I'll be in MSQ Roulette pretty much the entire time. I'm just watching a snail sir, and on my other screen I'm just hearing SUCH DEVASTATION! This was not my intention! How very glib. No. Fuck. Fuck. Here? We're gonna have to do mechanics here. I don't trust people to do mechanics in E11. Tell me, for whom do you fight? How very glib. And what of Eorzea? Oh my god, that actually started to hurt for a sec. Okay, I'm done with that for now.
My throat is too dry for that. It is too much the season of it being fucking dry outside and inside. This is in fact Cruise Chaser, yes, well spotted. We gotta go forward and back. It's true. All right, Blasty, let's fuck it up. I can't stand this song specifically because, um, I wiped to it so many times. Isn't it immediately the AoE at the center of the platform? No, the small ones, and then the AoE at the middle of the platform. Transcendental. Exponential. Forward and back, and then forward and back, and then go forward and back, and then one foot forward, forward. Here's the middle of the platform one. Yeah. It's not a line of sight for this one, y'all. It's just a distance thing. Oh no, they didn't click! Goodbye. I want to see that twink obliterated. Your first time doing this last week, you also missed hopping on? Listen, it's a... Uh, it's a rite of passage. Oh, he's invulnerable. Dang it. Summon Titan at a bad time. Wait, you're still invulnerable? You little shit. Oh wait, I can res now! Holy shit! Wait, hold on! This changes everything. I can res. Oh god, it's the rotating one. There's propeller wind, okay. Everyone else is confused. It's up to me. It is no longer up to me. <laughs> Everyone died to propeller wind. It's weird how that keeps happening. 
Someone in chat just- That's dumb. I don't have Carbuncle out. No wonder I can't summon Bahamut. This is notable for being the first appearance of the flare marker, though. Limit cut. Blasty charge. There we go. Did enough DPS to skip propeller wind. I just left before they could bother to not calm me. I need to go check to see if my heating is working properly real quick. Sorry.
I gotta really go. I gotta really quickly go talk to my roommate about this. Oh yeah, my heater's been on for like two hours, and uh, the temperature has gone down by a degree inside the apartment during that time, and it was already not fantastic. Like, it's not bad. It's just lower than it should be, so despite the heater being on for a bit, it hasn't managed to actually hit its temperature, so I just put in a quick service call. Hopefully they, uh, they come out for that, and I'll, uh... Yeah, usually it's pretty- my heater's usually pretty good, which is why I figure, like, something's probably up. Ah, elementals. Yeah, we can actually handle that. Wait here if you would. Yeah, I can take care of some elementals. That's, uh, that's no problem. Don't worry about it. There we go, nice and easy. I'm the neighbor upstairs. There, I have a neighbor downstairs, and they really don't do a lot. Sometimes there's some noise of them moving stuff around, but it's fine. I'm more worried about how they see me since I'm up to like 2 a.m. streaming some nights, especially this past week. Part of this I shared with everyone, yet you and only you have been to Elpis. Do you know something, Graha? As we have established, refined adamantite is a product of Alec of the Empire's Twilight Years. It was a material which saw much use as part of the Alagon's efforts to extend beyond the bounds of this world. Dalamud, of course, being the most prominent. Of those who would push further, expand Alec's empire to encompass the heavens it starts above. Perhaps the greatest was its infamous technologist, Amon. Yeah... Amon wanted to travel the Sea of Stars. He did. He must have had his own reasons, however, for there is no evidence to suggest that he retained memories of his life as an ancient. He only joined the Asians once the Empire was all but dust, as you know. 
If not his memory, though, what drove him to pursue the idea with such fervor? This may seem far-fetched, but what if souls like mine have a personality? A natural disposition towards which they are inclined? I mean, you're just talking about what the people of the steppe already believe. We know with relative certainty that it was the gross decadence and inexorable decline of Alec that moved Amon to resurrect Emperor Zonda. The Empire's people spoke lightly of death and destruction, experimenting on those they deemed beneath them to fill the emptiness in their hearts. In facilitating Zonda's return, Amon provided these languid souls with the means to free themselves from the mire of their own indolence. Or would have, had not Zonda been convinced of his own death, by his own death, that life itself was meaningless. Amon's desire for his countrymen to conquer the heavens could only be a means to the same end, to, to instill the people with new purpose. Let me look up the heavens word lyrics real quick. Beneath the gazing stars, veils deep and forth stark, betrayed by loyal hands, her wrath stirred. Bound fast unto our fate, one path, one burden great, yet ever do our aching souls point heavensward, ever rings out our song. Yes, ever do our aching souls march heavensward, as they've done for so long. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> There's a, no reason that Heaven's Word is playing right now. Like Hermes before him, Amon was appalled by those how those around him lived, but could never bring himself to believe that those lives were devoid of meaning. And both of them sought that meaning, that hope, in the distant stars. Such is my theory, anyway. Ultimately, it is the consequences of their actions which matter. Their motives are of no moment, and yet. To reach those stars on wings of adamantite, to travel the ends of creation and beyond, the promise of hope everlasting, that much I do understand. But enough musing for now. Why don't we see how Coco is getting on? Listen, man, I've been told my precursor was just as incorrigible as I am, so like... Yeah, I believe it at least a little. Oh, well, I might as well hop out. That's all the Zems managing to be like this. Yeah, but even knowing that our precursor as M, Proto Tibbet, also very much seemed to be this way. Just gonna take a quick look at the Stormblood lyrics in case that starts playing. Okay, so the lyrics to that one are exactly what I know and recognize. All right, hello? FF14? You want to stop lagging from this, uh... It said, Storm of blood, born of blood, from of our fallen brothers. Born upon our hands, cradled in our arms, swelling in our hearts. Raise your weary head, heed the call to arms, ringing in your heart. Loyalty, unity, liberty. Unless you can conjure up that adamantite any faster, there's not a lot else for you to do. Well, I'll see if I can manage anything. Bonds of adamantite. Yeah, no, footfalls is a combination of all of the things before, but 
notably, uh, the Footfalls lyrics um, are changed just enough, right? Um, like the Stormblood one, for example, is Storm of Blood, Born of Blood, of Our Fallen Brothers, Thunder Stilled, Odes Fulfilled, Now We Yearn for Freedom. Meanwhile, the store or the heavens word part of the lyrics is uh dis on som in our slumber disturbed, Ros an kin alana, all my brothers wake, ma morn, death comes, dis on som in our slumber disturbed, sal jas afa an, vengeance will be ours, which is probably more talking about the Merisidi and dragons being incredibly fucking pissed off at the whole Lunar Bahamut. The one that I think is important is the Charlian one. Our song of hope she dances on the wind. Higher, oh higher, air of vows endure, and remain forever strong. Standing tall in the dark do we carry on. On wings of hope you rise up through the night. Higher, oh higher, Carrying our song, cradled fast within your arms, that its chorus might ring for all. I hate waiting. I want the adamant head and I want it now. Is there nothing else we can do to help? I wish. This sitting about's unbearable. Pity the form frowns on recreational explosions. Oh my dude, you seem to be a kindred spirit. Well, so long as they can't prove it was premeditated, get you gone. I have mistakes to make. In that case, I suppose I should go and return the key to the reactor. I'll have one more look to make sure that nothing has gone wrong, unintentionally or otherwise. I'm certain there are better uses for your time, however. I will join, join you in the Charlene Hamlet anon. Any smoke rising from the building behind me will be entirely unrelated to what I didn't say. Got it? You got it, Kokel. I understand. Why are people on my Twitter feed po shit posting about the creation of the crystallization of glycerin? Await your companions, yes. Alright, let's roll. I love seeing so many carbuncles around because I just know, deep in my heart, did someone play 999 again? Did something new happen with Baki? It is June on the meme, so pro uh, maybe. We finished what we could, delivered supplies, tracked down escaped animals, trivial tasks as they may be. That's enough, don't you think? If there was anything more important still undone, that would be a problem in itself. The vessel is essentially ready for departure. All that remains is to load the final batch of supplies and see everyone on board. Once we've readied the ether burner, that is. Ah, had a feeling we might find you all here. Our consultations with the Loperets, too, have run their course. Pleased I am to say that our researchers' concerns have, for the most part, been allayed. Though some insist on making adjustments to the very end. For their part, Living Way and her peers have graciously offered to stay and keep the people company, lest any lingering queries go unanswered. Fifteen minutes to pit. I'm gonna go join the Discord call. Alpha 
Bono, are you there? It's me, Cryo. Your special delivery has arrived. Round up everyone and come to the Oh hell yeah. I am so ready to see the um the fucking customs lady just see a shitload of adamantite roll in and be like, What the fuck are you doing? Who are these people? They all have permission from the forum? How can all of them have permission from the forum? Forgive the intrusion, Master Fortuna. I bring urgent news. A great commotion has broken out in Scholar's Harbor. Your presence is requested with all speed. We have just called every single one of our friends to just get all the adamantite they can to make your ship fucking speedy. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Who brought it? Who brought the delivery that is causing this much trouble? Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> hey, how much did you bring? All of it. <laughs> Even the fucking ship is here. But we cannot accept these without the proper permits. By the twelve. <laughs> We've made a lot of friends! God, I fucking love- Hey, Sky Pirates, what's up, fam? Crimbleshins, good to see ya. Bleeding hellfire! They're bringing them by sea and by air! All these folks in these crates! And more on the way! Got your adamantite right here. A bigger haul than any of these sorry bastards brought, and that's no lie. Yes, because you were charged with seeing the shipments from Gridania and Uldar here, along with your own. Give credit where credit is due. Sounds like the sorry whinging of a sore loser. An hypocrite to boot. Ain't no way a scrawny whelp like you took a dozen steps inside a Dalaman shard. Jet boy! <laughs> Thank you, Rum. That kicks ass. It was my contacts that enabled us to enlist the cooperation of the Sky Pirates. I went all the way to the entrance of Dalamud. Well then, credit where credit's due, you did a right fine job sitting on your ass. <laughs> I really adore what a grand welcome Sarabon Hancock Hancock and Sarabon We come bearing relics both sacred and elegant as well as a few other gifts that may be of help to be presented Oh god they bought a single katana they must have bankrupted the Eastern Alliance for this Friends in Bosnia, for instance, have sent along a few artifacts for the brave allies of the resistance. That's he. I myself have come with a sacred relic of Raisin Temple. Twas passing fortunate that Senri's dango craving brought us to Kugane. We arrived precisely as Hancock was making his arrangements. Upon learning of your need, we made haste back to Hell's Lid, with our Dango, never fear, and consulted with the other auspices. Oh my god, that's Tenzin Sword. Oh, that's so sweet! Y'all are... Y'all are fantastic. Suzaku and Seiryu were nevertheless worried that it might be lost in transit, however, and insisted upon accompanying me to Onakoro where I had intended to entrust it to our confederate allies. Senri is the fat cat auspice, yes. Give it over to Hancock when we chanced to cross paths yet again. But alas, Seiryu remained ill at ease and ordered me see the blade into your hands personally <laughs> or die <laughs> We did, of 
course, need quite the impressive vessel to get it all here in time. Fortunately, our majestic associates have been more than helpful. Tis an honor to join the Warrior of Light on another adventure, they tell me. It is all wonderful to hear, but what of the extraordinary cost? <laughs> See, he's learned. Good job, Alfie. I knew I could believe in you. <laughs> Fret not for your coin purse, young Alphano. Lord Lollarito looks ever towards the profits of the future, and thus the East Aldenar Trading Company went to some lengths to reduce the financial liability. And since the Scions funded the entire venture, not a gill need be rendered up in compensation. Everything is already yours. Oh, well. Who funded the venture? When? Tataru. <laughs> Keeper knows a thing or two about spending. Tataru has just funded a spaceship. A sprinkling of gill here and there will not do. You need enough savings to make waves when it really counts, which is why frugality is paramount. We also have the benefit of a generous patron. Generous being rather an understatement. Who? She has supported. Oh my God! It's their mom. <laughs> the Levy Years founded this entire, funded this entire shit. Mother. <laughs> Tataru has been saving money for five expansions just for this drop. Emilians, you kick ass. Fucking drag him! <laughs> yeah, no, she told me flat out that she has always. Aww! She flat out told me that she has always been funding the Scions from before. Yeah, her LB3, power of money. <laughs> did you manage so much in so short a time? We expected words to reach only a fraction of our island. Did I not tell you I have my ways? I guarantee that had I done any sort of, um... I received a letter from Cryon after you parked the place in Labyrinth. Eureka, that would also be showing up. Discovered wonders. I held no illusions that they would be less demanding taskmasters. Though, rest assured, if I had, I would have been sorely disappointed. To make a long story short, the whole of the guild ship cooperated to ensure your call was heard far and wide. Ah, bless them. Why is there a tiny Omega? That's OMG! That's actually Omega! Elf is here! <laughs> and of course Nero is here. Oh, I nearly forgot. 
We stopped by Whirlind before coming here and picked up a Tell me the G Warrior is here. Tell me the G Warrior is here. He's still of the mind that actions make for better penance than words, contrite or otherwise. So we offer none of the latter. What he sent is an elegant relic Valens used in his weapons experiments. As a fair bit of refined adam Is it the heart of Sabik? <sighs> Maybe? No. And of course Hori and Coltney are here. Welcome. I admit to some consternation upon first receiving Kral's message. So few scions remain at the Rising Stones now. Far too few for such an expedition. However, the Gleaners were able to secure us reinforcements. Idleshire's treasure hunters, not least among them. I know. How the gobby flock fought. His gratitude for the safe return of his daughter has not waned. And he gathered his kin to our side with an astounding quickness. That's right. The clash between the gobbies are here. The defenses was a sight to behold. Oh, wager, even you would have been impressed by the magnitude of the gobby booms. Fascinating as all this is, I fail to see how it explains your presence here. Does Razet Han not have also? Yeah, hey, Satrap. Nidana. We do. Yet averting the final days would be the most expedient solution. That, and I am indebted to you. Oh, okay. Uh, one of my friends confirms if you've completed Eureka, you do get some items of interest during the big delivery scene here. Those you saved in Gallimund remain my people. My gratitude is beyond words. It is appropriate that I aid you in kind. If in the doing we bring salvation to others of this star, so much the better. This is the big bring it in, guys. You will recall that I spoke of my father. Midgard Sumer and his journey across the great expanse. As he traveled betwixt the stars, his resplendent scales drank of the ether in those nigh empty surrounds and imparted to him the strength to persevere. We didn't get midi scales. Your cause, I called out to my kin for consent. Ashdaya's answer was silence, as ever. Ashdaya. Tiamat and Chris Velgre, however, responded. We know that Ashdaya is out there now. My sire, too, stirred from his slumber long enough to speak and say, "Very well." Thus have I brought you his own worm scales. Holy shit! All right, yeah. <laughs> Hey, we need something full of ether. We've got the scales of Midgard Summer. How? <laughs> You'd be hard pressed to find someone else so familiar with the unique properties of dragon scales. So I invited myself. <laughs> I just want like half the people in here. So what is this? That's a scale of the dragon Midgard Summer. It is full of ether. How the fuck did we get this? What? Kokel's VA is having a lot of fun. In which case, the science end of the bargain has been fulfilled. Would you not agree? Shit. <laughs> Just this moment of God damn it. Yes, father. 
How the fuck? <laughs> I know not what you seek of Hydaelyn, nor for what purpose you would take command of our ship. Yet this much is certain. To do so will be to dictate the fate of this star and the lives upon it. The lives of each and every creature in their magnitude and their fragility. <laughs> to be just shows up understand? with briefcases. And are you prepared? We have seen and we have felt how much each life shapes this world. And so we are determined to abandon none. We understand what is at stake, and we are prepared to bear this burden. Let's the mask down. With me as family. It took fucking forty hours of expansion, but we finally got there. You grasped my fingers with such tiny hands the day you were born. I thought my heart might burst. Oh, you're going full, Dad. Okay. Happiness beyond expression, overwhelming, and a conviction so powerful that I trembled with something close to rage. I had heard the final days foretold. I swore to myself then and there that I would not let them steal your futures. Great Exodus would succeed, must succeed. No sacrifice or sin was worse than the alternative. If anything gave me pause, it was mine own father. The Archon Louis Soir openly decried Charlien's policies, a perspective which I regarded with increasing disdain as I grew older. Yet even as part of me thought him a fool, Perhaps I also hoped that he, of all people, would devise a brilliant means to save my children. Aww. A naive hope. But stubborn enough that I could never bring myself to keep them apart. No, that was his doing. When he perished at Carton. As we pulled that twisted slab of Dalamud from the sea, I remembered the warmth of your newborn touch. Chastened, I vowed never again to suffer any interference in my mission to protect you. No matter that you yourselves wished otherwise. Detest me, fight me tooth and nail, I would suffer it and more and be satisfied so long as I could force you onto the ship. <laughs> I was wrong. You two have grown so much stronger and so much wiser than I dared dream. This cutscene has been going on for 20 minutes, by the way. <laughs> you have I was not ready for this. Oops. Good. Because there are things we care about and people we love. And none of them is replaceable. Not a one. It cannot have been an easy journey for you to have come so far. We shall be glad to acquaint you with the finer details someday, once this danger has passed. All that we have seen and heard that we have felt and learned in our travels. Yeah, I really needed the warning before this one especially. But it is beautiful. Always. Oh no. Are you quite sure that's wise? 
After all, someone turns pale and flees the room when he sees so much. <laughs> 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 Fucking drag him! <laughs> Get him, Amelians! Fuck him! Whatever will happen. Get him! <laughs> Get his ass! Millions. <laughs> Bray Bray, come on. Though I have wronged my children most bravely. I owe you an apology as well. Fuck yeah, you do. I assume that it was the Scion's influence that made them so keen to charge headlong into danger. Oh no. No, no. Just kindred spirits. Yours, in particular. Eat my shorts, old man, is what I would have said before this moment. ...together with the many fine people gathered here today. In which case, I hope you continue to guide them. No worries, man. I adopted them as soon as you disowned them, so... we put our plans into motion. People are beginning to look confused. Perhaps you can spare a few words ere they resume the tedious lugging of cargo. You have no small number of friends and admirers here, after all. Absolutely. Assistance is appreciated. Now, in an orderly fashion, if you please. Torn from the heavens hits different now that you know it's the theme of positive emotion. Late the dad that makes you late for arcade pit. Eat my glamoured shorts, late dad. <laughs> Alright. Hosting over to pit. And I will see you all in a bit. <laughs> 